be it relationship, be it health, be it finance, uh, be it career, be it self-organization, whatever you, you have, coaching can help. Coaching is all about what? What do you want? Where you are? Why do you want that? How are you going to do that? There is a natural tendency as human beings that we tend to diverse or we tend to digress or every shining new thing actions are not possible without a solid focus. So coaching is primarily a discipline practice that helps you grow from one stage to the to the next one to the next higher one. So coaching is is a process of empowerment where a client works with a coach and becomes better at whatever he or she was doing earlier. So be it relationship, be it health, be it finance, uh, be it career, be it self-organization, whatever you, you have, coaching can help. So coaching, as I mentioned, a fundamental discipline practice based on certain frameworks. So those certain frameworks, what we do, we take or we analyze where the person is right now and where the person wants to become and what is the gap in between these these two stages and then based on the gap based on the current situation and based on the vision we come up with strong strategies and for each strategy so there are certain action items so coaching what it does it is based as i mentioned it provides clarity clarity on what means where are you where you want to go and what is the plan and, and most important than anything else is the why behind the what. So let me define you. Let me dis discuss or describe to you again the clarity of what do you want and then why do you want that? How are you going to do that? And when you do, how do you execute with full focus and accountability? So this is what coaching is all about. So why do we talk about, about the focus and the accountability? After the what and why is, the cl is clear and the plan is described or well established, then the execution starts and this is where majority of people lack, lack the focus. There is a natural tendency as human beings that we tend to diverse or we tend to digress or every shining new thing appears very attractive and a brilliant opportunity. This is where we need to put a break. And this is where we need to focus on what you want rather than focusing on something which looks good. Because the action brings the result and actions are not possible without a solid focus. So this was about the focus. Let's come to the accountability. So what is the sense of accountability or element of accountability is where the coach works with the client and holds the client accountable, accountable for actions. For instance, let's suppose you work with a coach and you decide upon certain actions. And then in your next review meeting, the coach asks, did you do that? If yes, what were the results? If you're not able to do that, what were the challenges? And what are you going to do when, when we meet next? So this is how the accountability works. So I remember uh, one of the persons that I happened to coach sometimes back. And uh, when I asked him, uh, what, uh, what is the best benefit that you have been receiving from coaching? We have been working together for, for a couple of months. He said the best part is the accountability because I know that my coach is going to ask me, did you do that? Yes or no. So when the meeting for our next session means the next session is coming up, he says that my, uh, my, my urge to create the action becomes higher because I know that, uh, that I need to uh, go and meet my coach and what would I report to my coach? So that element starts pushing me to make some actions. So even if I've been quiet for the entire five days, the next two days I try to make some actions, bring up some results or something that helps me go and meet the coach with the confidence. So this is where the accountability matters. So let me summarize you the concepts. Coaching is all about what? About what do you want? Where you are? Why do you want that? How are you going to do that? And when you start executing the plan of your how, the next thing comes into the picture, which is the focus and the accountability. So this is what the entire fundamental principle of coaching. As far as why the coaching is required or why anyone should be engaged in getting coached, everyone has certain room to improve. And when the person reaches the next higher level, then only the person is able to see the next higher level. So that means there's another room for improvement. And this is how the continuous improvement works for the entire lifetime. This is why you see that all the big CEOs, 
the most successful, successful CEOs in different companies, they have their own coaches. All presidential uh, candidates, they have their coaches. All athletes, they have their coaches. All sports teams, they have their coaches. Why? Because a coaching provides an outsider's perspective. So imagine if this is you and you're working on your life, a coach provides an outsider's perspective. No one is ever able to provide an outsider's perspective by themselves. Because this is, how, this is not how we have been created. We can see only ourselves with with our perspective, not an outsider's perspective. This is where the coaching comes into the picture and makes a real difference. All right, so let's let's summarize what we have talked about. So we have talked, talked about a couple of things related to coaching, which is the what and the why and the how and the execution. And at the same time, we have talked about outsider's perspective, which a coach can provide. Let me tell you some, uh, some different analogy. There, is, there are two terms, two words. One is called looking and one is called seeing. Let me tell you the difference. Let's suppose, let's suppose I'm, I'm working with a coach. So my coach asks me to look in a specific direction. So when I look in that specific direction, I see something relevant to me. So what I see relevant to me is not relevant to my coach. My coach is only showing me a different perspective or asking me to look into a specific direction. What I see is based on my own relevance. This is the beauty of of power of outsiders perspective and this is how we have been created differently every person has a different perspective right so we at munken we we coach people we help them provide an outsider's perspective we help them become what they want to become why how do, and how do we do that by continuously engaging with people in a model that works well with them where we provide outsiders perspective, help them develop the plan, then help them execute the plan to become better and to be able to reach at their next higher level of personal and professional uh, level. My name is Nair and I'm one of the coaches at Mumkin and this is what we do day and night, day in, day out with people. Thank you very much for watching this.